Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of chapter 11 in McClay. This is section four. And we want to do a regression, a linear regression, but it's a little bit different than the other problems we've worked. And let's read it. The question is, is there sufficient evidence of a positive linear relationship between y and x? Well, remember in our equation, for the slope of a line, we've got y equal mx plus b, and m is the slope, or beta 1 is the slope. If we've got a positive relationship between the positive linear relationship as x increases, y increases, so the slope would go up that way, so beta would have to be positive. And here's the, the tricky part when you're thinking about it. If beta 1 has got to be positive, and the alternative, the null is that it's zero, we need to set up stat crunch or Excel in that fashion. We're going to go down here and click on open in stat crunch. Okay, I have the data open in stat crunch. Remember that our tuition is our x value, that's our predictor variable, and our response variable is the percentage of students with job offers. We go to stat, regression, linear regression and we're going to select our x variable which is our tuition our y variable which is our job offer now here we've got to set up the hypothesis test we're not worried about the intercept we're just going to let that be whether or not it is zero or not it's okay but the slope we have to set that particular test up and here we want beta one to be greater than zero a positive slope so we just click compute and we get our answers there. I'm going to expand this so you can see those. Our T statistic 1.15 which is the answer they want there. We scroll down p-value 1.412 they want and that's the value we have. Again because our model is that the slope is positive. That's our alternative which is a right tail test. Let's look at the last part there. It says what is the conclusion? Well, because our p-value is above our alpha of 0.1, we've got a p-value of 0.14, that's greater than 0.1, therefore we fail to reject or do not reject the null, and that means there's insufficient evidence that there exists a positive linear relationship that beta 1 is greater than 0. Hope this helps.